CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. The two captains are out here with the match referee Ranjan Madagali. Michael Clark has the minted coin that's worked pretty well for him so far this summer. Let's go. Heads is the call. Heads is the call. Uh, Alistair Cook wins the toss. Yeah. <laughs> we can have a bowl. England will bowl first. Okay, what are the reasons for that? Well, we're obviously looking at the wickets, quite a lot of grass on it, um, quite a lot of green grass and uh, obviously the overheads as well. I um, don't think it's going to change too much during the game. Um, so, yeah, we want to try and make the first use of the new ball. OK, and, and you've got a different team, a few changes. Yeah, we've got three changes, um, three debutants. Um, so uh, I'm trying to remember them in order now. Um, Gary Balance comes in, uh, Scotty Borthwick, uh, young leg spinner and big boy ranking. And the players that miss out, one is Joe Root. That must be hard to stomach because he's such a talented young cricketer. Yeah, he's a very talented young cricketer and he'll definitely play a lot for England, we know that. Um, so, yeah, it's obviously a tough call, but unfortunately tough calls have to be made at certain times. Yes, I was going to say, I mean, one of the reasons for the changes is the disappointments on this trip. Yeah, you know, as I say, when you have a, a winning side, it tends to be a settled side. Um, and when, when you're not winning, you, you know, people aren't performing, so that's probably why they get left out. Now, what can you do? I mean, it's 4-0 down, threatened by 5-0. What do you say to the guys? Well, we've got one last chance. Um, you've got one last chance to make up uh, a name for himself. And, uh, you know, we certainly don't want to lose 5-0. I know the lads don't want to do that either. Can you have clear minds? Well, that's part of the challenge. Obviously, after when you lose games of cricket, especially the last game when we got ourselves in a, in a situation or position where we could start to put pressure on Australia and we didn't. Um, but that's gone now. We've got to just make sure we concentrate on what we do in this in this first hour. And do those fresh faces help lift spirits a bit? Yeah, I think it's always exciting watching guys make their debut. I think it's a fantastic achievement for them, a very proud moment for them, and uh, it kind of harps you back to when you play your made your debut and uh, kind of brings all back those memories as well. Good. Go well. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Right, Michael Clark is uh, here. There are only two Australian captains who have completed a 5-0 whitewash of England. Do you know who they are? Uh, I do know who they are, Mark. Uh, Warwick Armstrong and Ricky Ponting. That's not bad. Huh? Can you be the third? We're about to find out over the next five days. I think if we play the same way we've played in the first four test matches, there's no doubt about it. I think today's going to be quite tough batting first on this wicket, though, so we've got a big job ahead of us. You've called this team somewhere I read the Unchangeables. Are you unchanged? Uh, we're playing the same team. Yeah, I don't think I caught us the unchangeables, but I've heard that as well. But yeah, we're going with the same team. All right, and to do that is, is a privilege, isn't it? It's a real measure of the sort of cricket you've played and the days of injury problems and rotation are over for now. Yeah, I'm not sure they're over. I think it's credit to our support staff, our physio and our doctor and the players to be able to continue to get up day after day uh, and manage their bodies as well as they have. So let's hope we can continue to play the way we've been playing. And that is a very adventurous way and a very aggressive way. Well, I think it's the right team for, you know, the conditions we've faced so far this series. I still believe the selectors have picked the best 11 to have success on this wicket. And I think they've done that throughout the series.